Uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can build out a simple android application where you can select image files from your gallery inside your android phone here so we will be building this project android app in java with the help of android studio so this is basically the demo of this uh, android app here you will see there is a button out there select image i'm running this on my real machine here so i'm just screen casting it so that you can see here if i now click this button you will see it will open my gallery here so here I can select any image that I want to select here. So let's suppose if I select this image, you will see the image will be selected here and the live preview of the image will be shown to the user right here. You will see, you can change this image, click again the select image button, select the image right here. You will see the image will change here. So in this way guys, you can select any one image at a time and the, the live preview of that image will be shown to you inside your machine here. So this little application we will be building inside Java guys, how to build this, it's very simple. So you will get to know about how to basically interact with the file system, how to read images and display it. So this will be the application. So all the source code guys of this application I have given in the description of the blog post. So I have written a complete blog post explaining each instruction step by step and all the source code is also given. So you can go to the description to get all the source code. So you can see this is my android studio guys so basically for this we will be using android studio to build this application so let me just delete all this source code and start from scratch so let me just delete that and start from scratch and also delete that let me delete this so no external library is used guys so for this project so you don't need to use any sort of external library so let me also go to activity main.xml so delete all that code as well so now if you reload your application guys let me stop it and once again run this application so what you will find inside it will build out this and it will also open this application so if i just show you so this is the emulator which is running here and let me show you currently the application is empty here you will see that nothing is there so now guys what we need to do is that we need to display something on the screen here so we need to add a button out there so now to add a button guys it's very easy you need to go to activity.main.xml file so wherever you are just go to activity underscore main.xml so basically here we will have basically a button here we will have basically a button widget let me close it and let me zoom in so that you can see let me just uh, include this button widget so you can see that guys this button widget is there so it is we need to include basically the property here first of all we need to give it a unique id so that we can target that inside our we can give it as b select image like this we also need to give basically the width and the height so android layout width so this is required so we will make it as wrap content and android layout height android layout underscore height this is also we will make at wrap content and basically we will make the layout uh, center horizontal we will make it to true so we will have it horizontally we centering it and we will be giving a margin to it so all these properties you can set guys let me just copy these properties so i don't want to waste your time this is not the tutorial so basically we you can see we have given this id which is very much required here so this is the id that we will target inside the java code and this is width height horizontal margin you can change this button of the text here label of the text you can see and now if you run this uh, there is a button out there apply changes so if you apply the changes so it will not build out the project once again and now you will see a button out there so this will say select image so we have got an image uh, uh, button guys which says select image let me also just do it right here 
so we have got a button out there guys which says select image and now after this we also need basically the image view so image view basically is the location where we will be showing the live preview of the image so this will be a widget out there image view we have given basically the id here you will see iv preview image so this needs to be the same guys so here we will be targeting it using the java code using this reference and then we have given the width height it will be shown below the button so we have given the id here b select so we are providing layout underscore below property that's all so this is all that we need to write inside activity main.xml we are surrounding this using relative layout you can use any layout linear layout any sort of layout but this is not mandatory that you need to use relative layout this is just accordingly how to style the, your android app that's all now we just need to move your focus to main activity dot java file guys so here we will write the business logic of this application so here what we need to do is that we need to create the references of the button class so button we will import this so you will see automatically android studio will import this button widget for me and we need to basically declare a very variable we can call this as anything but i will call that b select image and then we will also import the image view class also guys it is imported right here at the very top and then i will call this as iv preview image that's all and now after declaring these references we also need to declare a constant variable guys for selecting the picture so and select underscore picture and the value of this constant will be 200 so that's all guys uh, we have and now we inside on create so whenever your activity is created this function is called here so we are attaching this activity underscore main here so that you can see the view here so after that what we need to do is that you need to put semicolon after each line so that no error will take place so after here we just need to basically attach this uh, we need to attach the on click so whenever we click the button what, uh, what sort of function we need to perform here so we can do that simply by using this syntax here b select image and here first of all we need to find the reference by using this method find view by id and here we just need to provide the reference of the button that we have provided so we have provided the id if you check inside activity main.xml we have provided this android underscore id parameter and inside this we have provided b select image so we need to provide the same id here using r dot id dot b select image so you will see android studio is automatically done that for us so after you do that we need to repeat the same thing for this one also this is image view and find view by id again r dot id dot and then iv preview image so make sure that you put semicolon after each line so now we just need to attach this on click to this button here so whenever you click this button so this basically has this method set on click listener so whenever you click this button this function will execute which is new view and inside view we have a function which is on click on click listener so o is capital here so on click listener so we can define this function here itself so inside this basically this implements a method which is called as on click so we need to basically implement this method here on click and inside this we, the view is passed here and here we will be basically be invoking this external function that we will write here this you can call this as anything we will call this as image chooser so this is slightly looking complicated code but uh, this is basically the syntax in android how to attach uh, events to buttons so every time you want to attach an event to the button you will write the same code so and now we just need to define this function which is image chooser so now you can define this void image chooser method here and inside this method so it is saying semicolon is expected here so make sure that you put semicolon i think you need to define this method outside this block of code here so 
yeah you need to define this method outside here so we will write here void image chooser and so now inside this guys we need to open the gallery and we need to select the images inside the android phone so how to select the images inside the gallery we need to basically use the intent class of uh, java here so intent so you will see in automatically this is imported right here at the very top we need to create a variable intent i and we will instantiate new instance of it new intent and after this guys we just need to set the type of images that we will select here so here we need to pass here only images here so image slash so it will select all the images gif png jpg so all the images are supported here so then we need to set the action here with the help of set action method here so here we will basically provide action this is actually a constant here action underscore get content so this will actually uh, get the content of images and after this guys we just need to redirect the user back to the main activity so we will call this method start activity for result this is basically start activity for result so automatically it will give you auto completion result here so you don't need to remember the function name so inside this we need to pass intent dot create chooser and uh, here we will pass the intent and the second parameter will be the button of the text so we will have select picture you can call this as anything and uh, then in the third argument we need to provide this constant which is select picture just provide it that's all that we need to do guys and after this now if you just let me just reload the app here by pressing this button here apply changes and so you will see that it basically it will say to you that uh, reinstall and restart app so we need to terminate it and again restart the app here so now the app is loaded now if i click this button of select image on my phone here so now you will see my gallery of the phone is opened here automatically so if i select this image any of the images here i select here so now we need to show the live preview of the image inside the main activity so the gallery is now opening successfully now to show the live preview of the image we need to implement a second method which is uh, which will be returned to you we need to define this method which is on activity result so at any point of time you call start activity for result you need to implement this method also which is on activity result which basically make sure that whatever you select inside gallery any sort of image video that you select if you want to get that video or image you need to implement this method so now we need to uh, Im implement this method so public void on activity result so you can get all this source code in the blog post guys the link is given in the description of this video so here we need to pass three options to this function here first is the request code here so here we need to pass the request code and then we need to pass the actual result which the user has selected in this case the user has selected image this is first is request code and this is result code and the third one is the actual data which is stored inside data intent this is intent object and first of all we need to call a super call so super dot on activity result and inside this we need to pass these three options request code result code and the data so after that guys we need to basically have a if condition here if the result code triple equal to we have a condition here sorry double equal to and if the result is okay so this is basically the constant here three result underscore cancelled for the cancelled event if the user has pressed the cancel button and then we have got result underscore ok so this will trigger if the user has selected images so if they select something here then we need to simply show it 
in the main activity for doing that we will have again a, a, another if condition this time we will compare the request code and if they select a picture so this is constant for a picture if this is there is also a constant for a video or as well if you just type here select underscore video there is also a constant for video as well but in our video in this video we are only tackling images so here we will provide select underscore picture here and inside this we just need to basically display the url of the image that the user has selected so in this case we need to implement the uri class of java here so automatically we will see android studio will import this class at the top here and here we just need to here declare the variable of this class here which is selected image uri you can call this anything so here we will get the uri of this data object by calling get data here semicolon so after this guys we just need to have if condition here again So here we are just having this condition if the data is equal to null or not. So if some data is present this condition will evaluate to true here. In this case we will display this image inside our preview section. We will make use of this method set image URI. This is the method we will call and here we will pass the URI of the image that's all. So sorry this needs to be not capital D so just make sure that you do that. So now our code is completed guys so now we can again build out our application. Click the stop button first of all. So just make sure that no error is there and now if I click the run button, run app button you will see basically a error has been taken place let me check this error here. So line 51. If you check on line 51 there is an error. So we are missing a semicolon. So just make sure that you put semicolon here. And again run this app here. And if you run this now you will see automatically the app will open. And now if I click the select image button here you will see my gallery will open here. And now I can select any images here. And let's suppose you select this image you will see the live preview of the image will be shown to you. Shown to the user. At one time you can even only select one image, you can't select multiple images. So I will make another video for how to select multiple images at one time. But in for, for now you can only select one image at a time. So in this way guys you can build out a simple android application where you can open the gallery and basically select an image file and show a live preview it inside java. So all the source code is given in the description of the video. And thank you very much for watching this video.